For more, visit MRN.com. I'm Kyle Ricky. This is NASCAR Today Midday on the Motor Racing Network. From Volusia to Chico, Williams Grove to Knoxville, and all dirt tracks in between and beyond. This is Winged Nation, one full hour of news and interviews with today's top dirt drivers. Now, your award-winning hosts for Winged Nation, Steve Post and Ashley Strimmy. Hello again. Welcome in. It's Wing Nation here on MRN.com, talking sprint car racing, our favorite time of the week. Well, one of our favorite times this week. It's Knoxville <laughs> Nationals. We have a lot of favorite times this week, but we are glad you joined us here on MRN.com. A great program coming up for you. Over the next hour, we are going to talk with T-Mac, Terry McCarl, winner of the Arnold Supply 360 Knoxville Nationals on Saturday night. We're going to step off the reservation a little bit because this week, and we'll talk all about what all we have this week coming up on MRN.com, we are Knoxville wall to wall. And then we're just actually kicking out some walls and going further down to walls because we have you covered with Knoxville national coverage with Wing Nation and on MRN.com. But, you know, there are other races, other racers, and other folks that are racing. The 358 division in Pennsylvania, the Central Pennsylvania 358 division, really, really cool division. These guys and gals are racing just as hard as anyone Absolutely. else. So Doug Haymaker, or um, Doug Haymaker, I guess it is. Well, I'll have to ask him. Haymaker? Haymaker, yeah, Whatever. exactly. That's it's, it. it sounds better. It's food-related. Haymaker, yeah, Haymaker. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I, I had that in my mind. Doug, Doug is going to join us, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the 358 racing in Central Pennsylvania. And then Kendra Jacobs is going to check in a Along, uh, along the way from Knoxville. So great, great program, and we're so glad that you have joined us. Alongside, as you heard at the top, mm-hmm. Ashley Strummy is here. Hi. So what's going on, girl? <laughs> Man, we're just busy. You just probably watched us on Sling and Dirt, or at least I hope yeah. you did. If you didn't, t- next week, mm-hmm. tune in at 11, Sling and Dirt, Sling me and, and my dirt, husband. That's right. Um, we're still racing modifieds. We just actually hit our 50th and 51st win this weekend. Congratulations. So that's kind of a cool deal for us. Yeah, to Just to brag a little bit. Nothing but. wrong with bragging a little bit. <laughs> we got something to brag about. That but is otherwise, so cool. it is sprint car time, and I'm you know, excited. This is, is the only time that I get to talk about it. Yeah, it's it's really <laughs> insane. Um how big things are in Knoxville. And let's just start off by going through some of the results of some of the things uh, on our Velco Racing Wheels results page. Get all my stuff pulled apart here. (laughs) Got stuff all uh, put put together, and now I'm pulling it all apart. Exactly. (laughs) Our Velco Racing Wheels results page, uh, it was uh, the Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour presented by Mav TV. They had the Arnold Motor Supply 360 Nationals. Uh, Preliminary night one, Danny the Dude Lasoski. Preliminary night two, Dusty Zomer. Saturday night, the big one, Terry McCarl over Dusty Zomer, Aaron Reitzel, Wayne Johnson, and Sammy Swindell. For Terry McCarl, it's his fourth 360 national win. We'll talk to T-Mac in a little bit, but, uh, man, I'll tell you what, it's got to be exciting uh, to kick off the whole Knoxville Nationals festivity mm-hmm. by going to victory, le- winning the biggest prize that night, he won Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And so Terry and last minute, just all thrown together the, like the that. The way this thing Impressive. came together, I can't wait to hear how it all came together from Terry. So really, really cool. Other racing across the sprint car world, World of Outlaws, they were at Federated Auto Parts, I-55, Peavely, Missouri, Donnie Schatz, 22nd win of the year on Friday night, and Shane Stewart, $20,000 picking up the Iron Man 55. The month of money has been the month of Shane Stewart. We're going to have to come up with a nickname instead of the damn you Donnie Shaw. Yeah, it's exactly. Have, I don't know what. Take me to the bank, <laughs> Shane Stewart. Yeah, I mean, uh, Shane Stewart he's really well. He's the king, well. he's the he's, Iron Man. Yeah, he's winning the big dollar ones. Donnie's winning along the way as well, but Shane Stewart doing a really nice job. Shane won over Rico Abreu, Donnie Schatz, Paul McMahon, and Joey Saldana on Saturday night. At Port Royal, the home Woo! track. For Ashley, Living <laughs> Legends Dream Race, this is just one of the really cool races that has kind of grown on the schedule here over the last six or eight years. Steve O'Neill just does a great job there at Port, and they've developed this thing, and Greg Hodnett became the first repeat winner of it. Really? I yes. didn't even know that. First repeat winner of it, 10000 Eight hundred and twenty dollars. Awesome for Saturday night at Port. For Saturday night. Exactly. <laughs> Buy yourself a lot of ice cream. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
Exactly. Uh, down at Barney's. Yeah, McBarney's. Yeah, McBarney's. It was just, recently sold. So was it really? It was. They still kept it McBarney's, but it just isn't the same anymore because Barney's not really there. But McBarney's. So. Yeah. That's sold. Where they drop the sprint car I know. every year yeah, for New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hodnett <laughs> uh, took the lead, uh, started eighth, took the lead from Aaron Ott with uh, two or three laps remaining and scored the victory. So uh, really cool there. National Sprint League last night at Oskaloosa. It was Brad Sweet picking up the victory. IRA got rained out. Other winners last weekend, Craig Mintz won in Ohio. A.J. Flick won at Lernerville. Mitch Mack picked up a win. Pat Cannon scored yeah. the victory at Williams Grove. At Butler, it was Brock Martin. At Mercer, it was Danny mm-hmm. Holtgraver. And Brock Lemley scored the win at Skagit. That results, those results, whatever you want to call those results, brought to you by Valco Racing Wheels. Made by racers for racers, www.valco, V-A-H-L-C-O, Dot com. So there you have that segment of the race with all the winners. Now, Ashley, we're yep. getting ready for the Knoxville Nationals. So exciting. Exactly. We. And we. You keep saying we. Yeah, I know. This no, is where me. I'm disappointed. Yes, exactly. Okay? I know. I'm sorry. I don't know who I'm I need sorry. to talk about this. I don't know all if it's right. you it's or good. someone in the back someone office. Someone listening. Exactly. You need to come with us. We just need to throw you in, throw you in our luggage and yeah. just bring you out there. I told you I could try to fold up as tight yeah, as I exactly. could. I won't bring much clothes. <laughs> I'll just wear the same outfit all week. Exactly. I can buy T-shirts there. Yeah, buy T-shirts there. Exactly. <laughs> um, it is the uh, 55th annual FVP Knoxville Nationals presented by Casey's General Store. And, you know, we talk about this. Sprint car racing is really a unique sport because uh, really, it, truly, the biggest prize is a race, not a championship. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, the World of Outlaw Championship is a close second. Yeah. We get that. You know, and then you fall into Williams Grove Championship, Central Pennsylvania Fast Series Championship, IRA, King of the West. You have all these championships. To me, that's the greatest thing about sprint car racing is the biggest prize is a race. race. Exactly. And, and honestly, in a lot of forms of racing, used to be the biggest prize in NASCAR was the Daytona 500. Mm-hmm. Now the biggest prize in NASCAR is the championship. And and that's all well and fine. I don't I don't judge. Well, it depends on who you ask that, though, too. Well, Joey Logano this year is pretty happy with that 500. <laughs> win, exactly. You know? um, but but so but there's no question about it in sprint car racing. What do you want to win the Knoxville Nationals? And it plays out starting tomorrow night, starting mm-hmm. Wednesday night. Two preliminary nights, then kind of a wild card round on Friday night, and then Saturday night where we start running the alphabet up until the 50-lap race, exactly, and to see who wins the biggest prize. It's Mm -hmm. not a matter of, oh, he had a good May, or oh, he had an (laughs) August, and he struggled in September. It's a matter of this Saturday night, 24 drivers are going to put it on the line for the biggest prize, period. Someone's yeah. going to win it, $150,000 check, holding it over their hand. We had the trophy here in studio with us for our mm-hmm. MAV-TV show. And uh, so so $150,000 to the winner. And I think that's the beauty of sprint car racing is the one race that we're going to see this week is the prize. And on Sunday morning, we've talked to Brian Brown about this, who's been second like eight zillion times there. We talked to Brian Brown about it. That Sunday morning, he wakes up heartbroken, and the dream for 365 days starts again. And that's just the, the that's brutal <laughs> nature of the sport is that on Sunday morning, on Saturday night, Sunday morning, there'll right. be one guy happy, and there'll be 108 other sprint car drivers that are like, I'll get him next year. <laughs> and away we go again around the calendar and around the country. So it's And that's so cool. You know, even with our late model drivers yeah. and our modified drivers, you know, Knoxville is one that they say that they wish they could win. And, and right. not even just... Not the late model nationals that they have there in September. It's just they want to win at Knoxville. Our two biggest tracks that we hear is Eldora and Knoxville. Knoxville. And it's just because the prestige behind it. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's the, the sprint car nationals. It's just and, and it's everybody a, wants to win at Knoxville. And with sprint car racing, it's those two in Williams Grove. They're the three. I mean, you know, I mean, love everyone else to death. Love everyone else to death. But the reality of it is, is if you ask a driver where they could win at, Knoxville would be the king of it, particularly this Saturday night. Right, absolutely. Yeah, particularly this Saturday night. I want Saturday that big night. check, too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> $150,000 on the line. And one of the guys that I sincerely believe we are going to talk about getting ready to go into this one and talk about a lot this week, uh, because they already got some money in the bank from Knoxville this weekend, is T-Mac. Terry McCarl, winner of the 360 Nationals. He joins us next. Stay with us, everyone. 
This is Winged Nation on MRN.com. We'll be back talking more dirt with Steve and Kendra right after this. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts and pick up five quarts of O'Reilly full synthetic motor oil and a microguard filter for $21.99. Extend the life of your vehicle and save money with five quarts of O'Reilly full synthetic motor oil and a microguard filter for $21.99. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. The new standard in race car screen printing and embroidery, Classic Ink USA. Full custom race car track swag apparel, quality customer service, and the industry's finest graphic designers, assuring quick turnaround and the highest customer satisfaction. See the latest designs at ClassicInkUSA.com, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, or call us 724-482-6224. Serving racers and their teams, all divisions, all over the world. Classic Ink USA, at the track and on your back. This is Winged Nation. Here's Steve Post and Ashley Strimmy. We appreciate you joining us so much here on Wing Nation on MRN.com. And uh, we are at the most wonderful time of the year, headed <laughs> to the most wonderful track of them all, the Knoxville Raceway, getting ready for the 55th running of the FVP Knoxville Nationals. As you sprint car junkies know, it starts out with the 360 Nationals this past weekend. The Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, presented by Mav TV, was the sanction on this. Knoxville Raceway, of course, hosting it. Guy that's Spent a little time with us this weekend on Mav TV. Terry McCarl spent a little time in Victory Lane on Saturday night and joins us now. T Mac, welcome back to the show. It's great to be on. Well, I'll tell you what, dude, we're talking to you a lot, so that must mean something good is happening. Uh, congratulations on that win Saturday night. I was thinking that whenever you guys call me, it's usually about something good or, or my, <laughs> maybe when I fractured my back, too, so maybe that wasn't too good. But... <laughs> Well, no back talk uh, today. No back talk today because uh, you, you've you've cleared that hurdle. Now we're back to racing. <laughs> yeah, we cleared it out pretty fast. But uh, man, it was just it was an unbelievable whirlwind experience. Really, winning the 360 National. I wasn't planning on running it actually. And uh, Don Long from Don Long, uh, from Searsboro Telephone Company gave me a call a few weeks before that and, and asked if I'd be interested in running one of his Jamie Moyle engines. And uh, you know, of course, I jumped at the chance. Don's a, a great guy and a great ambassador for the sport and helps out a lot of teams and. Jamie Moyle has been a friend of mine for over 20 years, a very, very good friend, and, um, and I know he built a great engine. So um, it just worked out. It was unbelievable how it just clicked, and it's one of those Cinderella stories, really. Well, you brought up Jamie Moyle, and, and everybody loves this guy, like truly just adores this man. And you guys out go out and do what you do, and I think it's because of Jamie. It, it just creates a takes it to a whole nother level. Why is Jamie so loved the way he is? Well, like I said, Jamie and I have been friends for over 20 years. I know him really, really well. I mean, you know, one of his, one of my best friends. And uh, uh, he's just a very hardworking, honest person. He's the kind of guy you want your son to be or you want to be. And uh, he's a great friend. He's the kind of guy you can call him the night and come and save you if he, if he could. And, uh, you know, he built an excellent engine, and he's straight up, and he works really hard. And, um, like I said, he's super honest and uh, just a good person. So um, to, to, to win it for him, I told him ahead of time that I've been fortunate enough to win that three other times and uh not that i don't want the money and the trophy and, and especially the history of winning it but you know i wanted it mostly for jamie and, and for don long terry what is winning the 360 nationals i know it's a different car i know it's a different week i know it's a different there's a lot of things different but what does that do for you if nothing else from a confidence level as you get ready to go this week for the big one well any win builds your confidence i don't care if it's you know friday night Code on track. Only eight guys showed up, and you win. You feel like you conquered the world that night. So, you know, uh, sprint car racing is kind of like boxing. You get out there, it's a match, and you want to beat everybody. And uh, uh, so, any any race, any win is definitely going to build your confidence. But a big one like that, where there's over 100 entries, uh, you know. And again, for me, it's a t-shirt race. You know, you get your name on a t-shirt forever, and it's a historic end of of winning. It is uh, pretty special to me. And to do it four times is really freaking yeah. impressive. <laughs> So we're rolling into to Knoxville Nationals week. Everybody has their take on it. You that, that track is your backyard track. How do you prepare? What mentality do you have rolling in for this week? Um, you know, we've been really good. We haven't been, you know, maybe winning as much as we like, but we've been getting up on the podium and going forward every night and kind of figuring out these tires. And and as I said that, then I went out at the Cappy Classic and got my car horrible again like I've been doing in the past. So. <laughs> um, I kind of, these, these tires are really easy to get too tight with. So, um, 
you try to tighten up your race car like you did in the, in the past years with the other tires or the Hoosiers of old, and that those setups just don't work like they like they do now. So um, I feel like we've got a pretty good grip on our ART chassis, and our rider engines are running really well. And uh, you know, we qualified fifth there tonight at the Cappy Classic, and we were pretty fast all night. So uh, you know, along with that 360 win, um, you know, I'm feeling pretty confident rolling in. It's, you know, things got to go your way, but I feel like we're fast enough to make to capitalize on it if they do. Terry, I'm going to ask you a big broad picture uh, question about uh, something you just talked about. You've been around the sport for a few years. You've ran with uh, these tires, that tires, this chassis, that ch- you, you know, you've <clears throat> you've bounced around a little bit. But we hear a lot of talk about tires. Whenever we have a change in the sport, is it always this transition, or has this been a little bit different? And do you know why, if it has been different? There generally is a little transition, depending on what the change they made was. But um, you know, they they just my philosophy, my, I truly think they keep taking away from us and taking away from us to, and taking away from us to make the racing like it was back in the day. And, uh, it's not, it doesn't work. I don't think it works. I don't think it's working, but I, you know, getting back and able to run that 360 or going and running in Australia. I, I don't mind the tire situation as much, um, as much as I mind. Um, I wish they'd give us our wings back a little bit, you know, um, we were able to run with a 360, a two and a half inch dip vortex and, and, uh, kick outs on the back of it. And, things like that with the 360 and you can run that over in Australia and it just makes the car so much more fun to drive. If, if you can get your car right, you still got to get the car right. It doesn't make it, you know, easy for anybody to drive. So, but you get the car right. You can do like we were doing that, you know, Saturday night at the 360 nationals and Friday night, being able to run the middle and go in high and turn it and come off low. So I don't mind the tires as much. Hoosier definitely makes the best tire racing tire in the world. So I'm uh, I'm a hundred percent behind having Hoosiers on us, but, uh, I just wish they'd give us our wings back or some of our wings back, you know, with our kickouts or uh, some sort of deal to where we can hook them up when it gets slick. To, to continue on with the little technology, you know, the different advances that we've we've gained just over the years, do you feel that the racer is outpricing themselves with the technology that, that we have and, you know, the sport's trying to keep it at a level? You know, I think about that all the time, and I read comments that people say that you know, make this change, make that change. It's just really difficult. I don't know the answers. I don't, I don't know what. I don't think anyone does. Obviously, they do it, but you know, I think the officials, you know, like Don McCoy or the World of Outlaws, um, it's a tough thing trying to figure out what to do to uh, to make the racing better. Well, part of it is you always look back in fondness at the past and think that was the good old days, no matter what, whether it was or not. You know, uh, Mark Kinzer <laughs> led the nationals for 22 laps in 1990, I think it was. And uh, blew an engine, and he had a three-inch wicker bill on that thing. And then you're not supposed to be the good old days. So, um, technology is just technology. We can't stop it. I mean, there's so many things going on. I mean, look what we can do with our phones now. So, yeah. um, I don't know the answers, and I don't know how you. You know, I think they need to try to keep technology out of it as much as they can. Keep it a sprint car as much as they can. Nothing computerized. And um, but again, I don't. I don't know what rules we can change or what we can't change to make the racing like it was. I mean, I think the race has been pretty good. I'm just saying as a as a competitor and mechanic, I wish we could have a little bit more wing force to use, but uh, uh, I think they're doing a fairly good job for what they have in front of them. It is it is a challenge, and it's always a, a tightrope trying to sort that out. Uh, Terry, uh, you had, of course, the Oski Challenge last night, the uh, one-night stand for twenty grand. Uh, Brad Sweet won it. Uh, the big news for us here is that Kendra has some beads. She's coming on later to share the story <laughs> on how she got the beads, but uh, you're still in the upright position. You survived a big promotion last night. Well, I feel like a truck hit me. I, I bet. think I, I only slept three hours a night before, and Lori and I are so busy, and the boys with, the, you know, the 360 Nationals and the race, and then now the 410 Nationals. is pretty tough week for us, but we love it. You know, we're, we're sprint car people, and this is the, the mecca for sprint car racing, and, uh, you know, it's just crunch time. It's kind of like I always say, it's kind of like if you have a store in the mall, and, and this is Christmas time. you gotta you got to work really hard for a few weeks for sure to make things happen, and it's probably the biggest part of your season monetarily. So um, I'm glad Kendra got some beads. Um, I'm hoping she had a good time. I know Brad Sweet's in a pretty good mood today. We had a great time last night. The show went off flawlessly, and I can't thank all the officials enough and uh, all the racers. But a great race and great crowd, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. I only have one complaint, just one. You want beads? Well, that too. <laughs> I two complaints. Two complaints. <laughs> yeah, I like the way you think, Terry. <laughs> Your your front row challenge is growing every year. The car counts are getting bigger. It's insane. But us here in North Carolina who can't make the trip to Knoxville, or well, not Knoxville, but to Iowa, why can I not watch this race on the internet? 
Yeah, this is a good debate. I understand people get angry about that, and I, and I understand it. And I love, I love the, again the pay per view and the things that are going on. It's so nice for me to like the snowplow.com. He watches Jeff and Stacy watch all my races. The technology there is amazing. But you know, for our proximity to Knoxville, kind of you know we're that little fish that follows a big shark. That proximity to Knoxville, you know, nobody, you know, we. I I, I personally think live TV hurt Knoxville National for years. I really did. I talked to Kathy about it a lot of times. I know a lot of people that would. They were coming to Knoxville Nationals every year to quit coming. They just stayed home in California and had a party and watched it live. I know people, lots and lots of people that told me that, you know, they'd come to Oski and then come to Knoxville for the preliminary nights and then go sit in the North Campgrounds and, and watch on their TVs, watch it live. So um, they have to, people have to understand, you know, this is a small little event, really. You know, we paid 20000 That's a pretty big deal. I was going to say, that's not um, real just, small. <laughs> you know, it's Dingus alone. The people that would be in Dingus alone watching the pay-per-view would, would just really kill us financially. So. Okay. For us, it just doesn't make sense. I've done the numbers. I know the numbers, and, and I understand people's frustration, but it's just not something that I feel we should, would work for us at Oskaloosa just because the bulk of our crowd is in this area. is over here at Knoxville, or Red Rock, Campin, and Oskaloosa and Pella, and uh, a lot of them could just stay at home and watch it, you know, watch it on TV. So um, we'd like for you to come out and experience it. I think the Front Row Challenge is a great experience. you got to be there to – for the aura of the, of the place, the covered grandstand, and the fun we have, and uh, no no support classes. We just, you know, during intermissions, we have a lot of fun with the fans. I think we ended up throwing over three or 400 hats and shirts out last night. And, and again, 6,000 Mardi Gras beads and tons of stuff <laughs> from all distributing Budweiser. And we just had a lot of fun with it. So I uh, gave away five, uh, five television sets I saw that. to some That's lucky awesome. fans who had the right frisbee. So, you know, I think you need to come out and experience it to have the fun. And, same thing with the Knoxville Nationals. I think you uh, you need to be here to, to get what it's really about. And uh, and that's why they don't have live TV here anymore, too. I think it's just, uh, again, the technology there can actually hurt you. It's it, that's you have you have just absolutely stated the whole debate, and mm-hmm. I think that's a great and I think it's a debate we could we'll, we could talk about all year long, and still it's it's a choice that you have to make, and that makes so much sense with where you're sitting and where a whole bunch of other people could be sitting if they weren't at Oskaloosa that night. So uh, Terry, catch your breath, uh, breathe in, breathe out. You, you Laurie, the boys, get ready. Uh, you get a, a few hours off here today, and then you get right back <laughs> at it for the Knoxville Nationals. Congratulations on the win in the 360 Nationals. We we can't wait to catch up with you in person out there in Knoxville. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Uh, thanks. Looking forward to seeing you guys. There we go. That's T Mac, Terry McCarl, joining us here on the program. Love him. Can you imagine, though, you go and you just like you run a whole 360 nationals, okay? And then they have the big 410. No. Sh- yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, but then you don't even sleep after that or you sleep whatever you can. You come back and you run the Cappy Classic. And by the way, the next night you're running a promotion. Uh, uh, you're, you're having, you know, thousands and thousands of your best friends over. To, you got to yeah. get beads and to watch a race, and uh, you know it's like. T- and then so when Craig, or, Craig, our producer, lined up T Mac after Saturday night, I said T Mac's not even going to be conscious <laughs> at Tuesday because he's got to rest up. But yet he comes on, he's all chipper and ready to go. It's and all about passion. Exactly. Well, there's no doubt about that, and T Mac has it. T Mac's appearance on the show presented, uh, brought to you by Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, presented by MAV TV, and they, of course, were the sanction of the 360 Nationals. Their next race is on August 23rd, the Missouri State Fair Speedway in Sedalia, Missouri, mm. $12,000 to win. Holy cow. I thought, and good wait. food, it sounds like. Yeah, well, it's a fair speedway. I've been to <laughs> Sedalia, and yes, the food is good. The racing is good, so make sure you catch up with the Lucas Oil ASCS Tour presented by Mav TV, American Reel at ASCSRacing.com. Stay with us, anyway, everyone. We'll be back talking Pennsylvania 358 racing with Doug Hamaker when we come back. Hey, this is Jason Sides, and you're listening to Steve and Kendra on Wing Nation here on MotorRacingNetwork.com. Racers, that's who Valco Wheels are. That's who they know, and racing is what they know. Valco Wheels focuses oval track and grassroots racing and understand racers need a quality wheel that fits your budget. With over 25 years' experience, Valco Wheels produces the best product and give you face-to-face support and customer service at the track. Fast delivery, innovative products, problem solving. Find Valco Wheels at Valco.com on Twitter or Facebook or call Valco Wheels at 609-758-7013. Valco Wheels. 
the American Sprint Car Series returns for its 24th year. Over 150 events across national and regional schedules, 56 cities, 16 states, and some of the sports best like Herrera, Swindell, Haferty, and Reitzel, along with the next generation of stars. See the full lineup of events at ASCSRacing.com, get updates on Facebook and Twitter, and catch every Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour event live on RacingBoys.com. Already dreading the thought of the off-season and winter? Head down under with Down Under Racing Tours. Don't be stuck in the cold and snow when you could experience the best sprint car racing in Australia, such as the Classic, World Series Speed Week, King's Challenge, President's Cup, and the Australian title with Down Under Racing Tours. Owned and operated by an Australian who knows racing down under. Visit downunderracingtours.com or call 717-364-2576. Down Under Racing Tours for a racing experience of a lifetime. This is Winged Nation. Here's Steve Post and Ashley Strimmy. Oh, folks, we are having such a great time, and we are glad you joined us. And as I mentioned at the top of the show, we are very Knoxville heavy. And and we're not even going to apologize for that. It's the <laughs> Knoxville Nationals, but there are other races going on. And there are other great things going on in the country. And there is a group of racers, a group of folks that do business in central Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Truth of the matter is, they live in the shadows because, they do. you know, Central Pennsylvania, 410 Sprint Cars. It's wrong. It's not fair. It is what it is. Okay? And they're, they're, you know, that's that's something for everyone else to decide. Wing Nation can only do what we can do. And we love talking to our 410 guys, but we love what the 358 drivers do. Have a point fund, the Central PA uh, Point Series presented by Capital Renegades. Of course, they run at Williams Grove. They run at Lincoln. They run uh, regular shows at uh, South or um, Susquehanna. Trailways, okay. Trailways has regular yeah. shows. So it's great little tour. They do a great job with it. And these racers race their guts out just like everyone else. So this interview brought to you by Classic Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery. And we're going to bring on the point leader of the Central PA. Of everything. Oh, yeah, it's easier <laughs> just to say everything. Doug Hamaker joins us on the line. Hello, Doug. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on? Well, we're hanging out. I was going to introduce you with all the accolades, <laughs> but we wouldn't have a chance to talk to you. My God, you're having a great year. Yeah, we're not having too bad of a year, but it, it's not over yet, so you can't, I don't really say much about it. Well, that's, the th I've always said when you're points racing, you're kind of chasing a unicorn. You know, it could come and go at any point. You just took over the lead at Lincoln, I believe, but honestly, let's let's think big picture. You are at the top of the board for all of them. What would it mean to you to pick up all three of those this year? Well, you know, it, it would mean big, not, you know, it mean big for me, but my dad, especially, you know, he never – he won a championship at Williams Grove. He won one at Lincoln, but he never got to do it in the same year, you know. And we're trying. We're trying everything we can do, you know. And we're leaving the Kevin now sign and graphics deal, too. So, you know, I don't oh, think no one ever won four in a year. So, if we can do it, that would be awesome. You know, we're going to try like heck. But it's just so hard with all the guys that we race with, you know. It's, it's just hard. Doug, tell us about your dad. Uh, my dad's Dale Haymaker, if a lot of people didn't know, you know, and he seems like he ran for good gracious ages, and, you know, and he ran, came up through the late models, up through the modifieds, you know, and I think he started his sprint car in 92 or 93, and, you know, and when cars were still around, you know, he kind of dominated that deal, and, you know, he got a lot of wins, and a lot of, he won the championship at Lincoln, won at the Grove and won a lot of cars, you know, and he's, he's is what makes this race car go around, you know, and we have a family business that he spends seven days a week at just so we can race. So, you know, he's dedicated just like all my family and everything. So I can't do it without him. And you're, when you keep saying your family, your brother Nate raced as well too. Yeah. My brother raced, you know, and he just had a baby this past, well, two years ago, I guess she'd be turning this year and you know he kind of backed off the racing thing you know and he had you know he mostly ran Williams Grove and he has a couple wins there and I think Bill McIntyre just told me that I just passed him Friday night for beating him in the most wins at the Grove so I kind of one up him on that deal <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that that's good you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna do it knock him out exactly dad's next right <laughs> yeah, da yeah dad's yeah. next yeah exactly um Doug the 358 racing in um, – I'm going to ask you, we, for whatever reason today, we seem to be going a little tech talk. We had Terry McCarl on, and we talked about some things with tires and wings. Um, yep. 
I, I, you don't, nobody wants me touching, they don't want me changing the tire <laughs> on my car, okay? So mechanically inclined, I am not. I barely am capable of putting gas in it, okay? So I know nothing about these vehicles. You have the yep. 358s in Central PA, and you have the 360s at Sealands Grove. URC rolls in there along the way and everything. In broad, idiot radio guy terms, something I can understand, what are the differences? It's, to me, it's like, wow, it's only two cubic inches. Go race. <laughs> what are the differences? Uh, the difference between a 358 and a 360 is we got, we got a little over wing. They run a 5x5 five five what the 410 guys do. You know, and people come and look at our races, and they say, well, what's that retarded wing, you know? And I think that's what makes our division so raceful because it it don't come down to – it comes down to the driver more than anything in the car. And, and the 360's got aluminum heads, and we got cast iron heads. Realistically, they're almost the same, just they weigh a little lighter because they can run titanium rotors and stuff. But their motors are a lot lighter because they have – aluminum heads on them. But other than that, everything else is almost the same to the top wing. They have a 5x5 five five and we have a 3x5. Five. Wow. Thank you. Wow. That's great. Sounds all and we're getting educated. Oh, man, I'm, I'm walking out here smarter than I walked <laughs> in, and that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Well, talking about the 358s, the 360s, I think there's 305s in there as well somewhere. Is I mean, you're dominating four wins at just the Grove this year. Is there any – what's the word I'm looking for here? My vocabulary has escaped me. Init, not initiative, but is there any will or desire – there's my word – there to go 360 or even 410 sprint car racing in Pennsylvania? Uh, you know, I would love to go 410. You know, I think a lot of the guys that are down in, like, 305s and 360s and stuff, you know, I'd love to do that. But, you know, our our family budget don't have it you know, race competitively every week, you know, they run with Danny and Greg and all them, you know. So, you know, eventually if I can get the sponsorship there, yeah, I'd love to do it. You know, I'd love to run with the outlaws and stuff, but, you know, I got to try to keep it in perspective what, you know, what me and my dad and stuff can afford. You know, I got a great group of sponsors and stuff that, you know, they want to do it. You just got to cross all the T's and dot all the I's before you just jump into that. You know, that's a whole different animal. Absolutely. At least you're being, you know, yeah. smart about it. You talked about the family business. So what is it that you do seven days a week before you jump in that race car? Well, I don't actually work there because me and my dad would fight too much. <laughs> <laughs> I can respect that. I can respect yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're too identical. But, you know, my brother works there, my dad works there, and then my uncle, he has, it's in the same business, but he is the one that builds our race car motors. He does sportsmen's late models, drag cars, you know, and, you know, they're there all the time, you know, and I work at my new sponsor's heavy equipment motor in part, you know, okay. so I, so I can, it's on my way home because I live in Carlisle, but, you know, that's what, them guys there, that's what makes it go around, you know, my uncle and my dad, you know, they put countless hours in just to make sure we have what we need, you know, and if it wasn't for the family business, we sure in heck wouldn't be doing it. Oh, boy, that's, that, that, there's a lot of racers that can say that, that's for sure. My final question for you, Dale, and I have, I have probably butchered it every time. <laughs> what, is the, what is the actual pronunciation of your last name? It's Hammaker. It's like ham and then maker. It's just hammaker. Okay, I've had hammaker and I've had haymaker. <laughs> ham. See, but now you got ham. I can understand that. A ham maker. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people that mispronounce it, but, hey, it is what it is. That's all right. No, now see now we're talking ham and it's lunchtime. I'm good to go. I'll remember it for the rest of my life. I'll remember it yeah, for the rest that is of... right. Yeah. Where are you uh, where are you racing this weekend? I think you guys have one race this weekend. Where's that at? Yeah, it's down at Trailways, you know, hand it well, I, I guess it's by Hanover, you know, and leading the points you kinda gotta go where you got you know, I mean you have to go, but you know, I gotta applaud Bill and Christina for the yeah. central PA points because, you know, they're doing a lot for someone that didn't care about his vision, you know what I mean? You know, and then you got to thank Kevin House for what he's doing for the class, too, with the summer series he's doing. You know, if it wasn't for them type of people, no one would know about the 358, you know, because we're just based around Central PA. Mm -hmm. Is that frustrating that you're in the shadows of the 410s? Uh, it, I mean, no, 
I don't know if it's frustrating, but, you know, just a lot of people don't know about it, you know. Yeah. There's a lot of people that we talk to that say, you know, you guys put on a better show than what the 410s do. But, you know, them guys get paid more. They, you know what I mean? It, it just, it, to me, it's more gratifying now that there's more and more people standing in the stands when we're done before everyone just leaves because the 410s are over. We're finally starting to get the fan base that, you know, that it, it's more than racing just in 410s, you know. That's good. Absolutely that awesome. is good. And I, a great point. Yeah, it is a great point. It really is. Doug, I'm telling you what, we've had a blast chatting with you. Congratulations on the success so far. Continued success down the road on winning everything in central Pennsylvania, taking all the money home and making everyone else mad. <laughs> um, but we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us here on the program. All right, not a problem. Thank you for having me on. There we go. That's Doug Hammaker. Joining Hand us maker. here on the program, Hand I got it. Maker. You know, and he mentions, he mentions, okay, one of one of the, the, the folks, he mentions Bill McIntyre. Bill does the Central PA 358 Point Series presented by Capital Renegades, mm-hmm. okay? And you want to talk, we talked about passion with T-Mac. You want to talk about passion. I mean, it is, if if Bill McIntyre, and, and I love when we get a chance to banter and spar on Twitter, <laughs> because if Bill was scheduling Wing Nation, it would be, Doug Hamaker this week, Brad McClellan, and Matt Campbell. Okay, next week we would go with uh, Isaac uh, Schieringer, Schieringer, Corey Flesher, Jeff Halligan. Then we'd come back to Doug Hannigan. But that's not that's great because he has this point fund, and this is putting money in drivers' pockets. Absolutely. That's a great thing. He has this point fund. He champions these race car drivers who are working just as hard as every other race car driver. This right. is This is not a, you know... And he goes out and he raises money and he puts together a point fund for these guys and gals so they can go race for it. And, you know, and, yeah, there's times when he'll light me up on Twitter and be like, oh, man, the last person I want to is that knucklehead Bill McIntyre. <laughs> um, but his passion for it, and we've passion has been the, the buzzword for Wing Nation since we began years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's guys like Bill McIntyre. It's guys like the Fast Series in Ohio. Yeah. It's like the Minnesota Mafia. It's like the Beer Hill Gang. It's like yeah. all of these. Without them. Without them, it's all all of these, we have the promoters, we have the owners, we have the drivers, we have the crew guys, but these fans that get involved and do the extra to me is what is so special. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go, Bill McIntyre with the Central PA 358 Sprint Series. You can find information on them at centralparacing.com. So there you have it. So really, really cool stuff there from Doug Hamaker. Hammaker. Hammaker. I love it. I got it. I, hey, I do have to give one shout out. Okay, give a shout um, out. It's 305 Sprint Cars. Exactly. So, okay. Yeah. So Heston Speedway, Judy Bates. Yeah. She used to race when my dad raced I, back in the day, and okay. I was scrolling through Ariata Racing News this morning, and I was so excited to see her face still out there, still really? racing, and picking up the win at Heston last night. Who's so, the old guy? Cowboy? Cowboy Jim Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Cowboy Jim Kennedy's running 305. Who yodels. <laughs> Yeah, he yodels. We used to race with him too. He wanted to beat my dad up one night. Really? It was kind of funny. What did what did he yodel while he was? No, but he had both his fists clenched and he was shaking his whole body. <laughs> that's probably a hundred and twenty pounds soaking wet. Uh, Love his heart. See, but that man again. Speaking about passion. Yeah, exactly. He's the a one man band, literally. Yeah. Occasionally, yeah. if his friend isn't in the hospital. He comes to the track. But I have seen that man, under caution, get out of his race car, change his right rear, and go back out. That's great. I'm not even, it's insane. And that's what it's all about. And I know we're focusing on the Knoxville Nationals and the big-time 410 drivers, but whether it's the Central PA 358 Series or whether it's the 305 racers, everyone out there, we love what you guys do. Uh, Wish we could just devote whole shows to everything, but uh, we... (laughs) We'd we'd, be here all week. Oh, my gosh, because it's (laughs) great, because it's great out there. All of this brought to you by Classic Ink and Screen Printing. Great T-shirts, sweatshirts, drivers like Brian Brown, Donnie Shot. It's Danny Dietrich, Casey Kane, Jack Hottenshield, Danny Holtgraver, and more. Uh, Brett Marks as well. They get their stuff at Classic Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery. You can find out more at ClassicInkUSA.com. So let's uh, do this. Let's step away. When we come back, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going to find out how <laughs> the beads were acquired by our girl Kendra. We're going to find out what's going on in Knoxville. She's going on a dunk tank tonight. I'm know excited that. to know what she's and, wearing uh, for that. Exactly. Well, uh-huh. we'll, pre- we'll preview a little <laughs> bit of uh, Knoxville Nationals as well. Stay with us. Kendra Jacobs joins us next. I'm Danny Holcraver, and you're listening to Wing Nation on MotorRacingNetwork.com. Hi, I'm NASCAR driver Jeff Gordon. Did you know that 43 children are diagnosed with cancer each and every day? 
that more children die from cancer than any other disease. Athletes of all ages are dedicating their stats to change these stats, and you can too. Visit JeffGordonChildrensFoundation.org to become a Kick It champion. No matter what your sport, you can use your points, laps, or goals to change the odds for kids with cancer. Make your stats really count. Become a Kick It champion. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules tires will get you there. Whether you're running on dirt or running a job, our dependable, high-quality tires are the perfect fit for your needs. For unmatched value, selection, and warranty with industry-leading road hazard protection, there's only one choice, Hercules Tires. To learn more, visit HerculesTire.com or call 800-677-9535. Hercules Tires, right on our strength. This is Winged Nation. Here's Steve Post and Ashley Strimmey. We are having a great time. We are trying to dial up Kendra Jacobs. And she's late. We can contact any sprint car <laughs> driver in America, but we can't find Kendra, So, uh, which is all right, because she's in Knoxville, and she is having a great, great time, and we appreciate that. Gives us a chance to talk about our Hercules tire driver, Greg Wilson. His next appearance, well, it's at the Knoxville Nationals. There's <laughs> surprise, a shocker. Surprise. And actually, Greg will be joining us on Wednesday night on Wing Nation. Now, here's what we're going to do, okay, with Wing Nation. We are going to have shows every night, Wednesday, Whoa. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. For those of you not in Knoxville, 7 o'clock Eastern time, same show that we're doing right here, just a few more drivers. Those of you in Knoxville, we are right by the ticket office behind the main grandstand at the start-finish line. Here, I thought you were going to say at Dingus's. Well, we'll be at Dingus. <laughs> we'll be at Dingus's a little bit as well. That might be after the okay. racing action. Okay. But just to give you an idea, okay, what we have coming up. Uh, Craig Moore, our producer, uh, is just works Look his at guts that out list. on this. Okay, Wednesday night, listen to this. Tim Schaefer, Greg Wilson, Doug Wolfgang, and Steve Kinzer mm. together. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, uh, Wolfgang and Kinzer, Dale Blaney, Stevie Smith, Dusty Zomer, Sammy Swindell, Danny Dietrich, and Logan Schuhart. Crescent Not list. a bad night. No. Not a bad night to kick it off. Got some PA okay? guys in there. We got Posse. This we got Midwest. We got some legends. <laughs> you know, we have Doug Wolfgang, Steve Kinzer, and Sammy Swindell on the same, sh- same show. Throw in Stevie Smith, same show. And uh, Dale Blaney, uh, you know, at Tim Schaefer. I mean. The stories are going to be good on exactly. that one. Thursday night, we kick it off with Jason Sides and Craig Kinzer. That's your buddy. That's our Jason buddy Sides. and their buddies, mm-hmm. exactly. Brian Clawson, of course, oh. I hope you bring Chevy Clawson, uh, and Ian <laughs> Madsen, Sheldon Hoddenshield, Greg Hodnett, Craig Delansky, Brady Bacon, Aaron Reitzel, Paul McMahon. That's Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Pretty sporty. Yeah. And we will work on Friday and Saturday as we're there. We have Donnie Schatz, I know, scheduled in for Friday night. Oh, cool. But Really, really cool stuff. We've been doing this show the last couple of years out at Knoxville, and it's just so much fun. And and uh, it's just big stage. We have some shirts and stuff. We'll be throwing stuff away, get a chance to hear the drivers, beads? meet the drivers. I don't know about beads. I don't know. <laughs> we need to maybe get it on T-Max deal and find some beads along the way. That's a good idea. I love it. It's a good, <laughs> great idea, as a matter of fact. Um, so we look forward to getting out there to Knoxville. It is going to just be huge fun along the way. And uh, just can't wait to get out there and, and do everything that is Knoxville, that is the Knoxville nationals and how this works this is you know the the whole knoxville situation is is just just amazing because we do our show out there from six to seven seven fifteen they put heat in the motors mm-hmm. so you come in you catch wing nation grab a beer grab a hot dog grab a soda funnel pop cake funnel cake or whatever yep. go on up and it's time to and get we're going. right there so we just set the table for you and then the guys and gals out there racing have at it that's and awesome. it's just so great. It is just the most fun, and we have a really good time. And uh, so if you're going to be in Knoxville, uh, we need you to show up at the show. Stop by and Stop say by hi. And say Not hi. to me, though. No, no. Well, you know, Kendra and I will be out there. <laughs> Craig Moore will be out there as well. Uh, Ashley will not. We'll be we'll be taunting her on Twitter. Yeah. Um, so if, Although Boss Man said we might go to the late models in Knoxville, so I'm kind of excited about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll start out there. Yeah. Exactly. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's not spring cars, but. That's all right. Knoxville's <laughs> a pretty cool place. It really is. And then uh, so you, then you go right on into the race and right on into the racetrack. So uh, going to be just, just huge fun and just can't wait to get out there and hang out and do all of it. And, of course, the activities it gives us a chance to talk about 
uh, just a lot of the activities and the um, one of the. Are you doing the kickball tour? Well, we, no, I know not, you're not in I'm it. I'm not but in it. Uh, I will probably show up there, but I've got. I um, didn't know if you'd be announcing it. No, no, no. Toby okay. uh, or um, Tony Bachoven does it. Oh, okay. Oh, Tony Bachoven does it. He's fantastic. I mean, it's like, <laughs> why would I jump in on Tony Bachoven? He's like 87 times better than I am. It's like, I, you you're know. You're crazy. And now this son of I a mean, gun. He's now, good, but... now that dirty dog's cooking too. Yeah, he, he oh. does all of this, this smoking and cooking, and he invites me out Tuesday night. Well, I'm not flying in until Wednesday. So oh. not only the dirty dog's a better he's announcer just than me. He's turning that Yeah, night. now he's a better cook than me, too. <laughs> that skunk, I'm telling you what. Yeah. yeah I so, love it. But Bachoven does that. And, uh, Tony Bachoven, just great. I, I think the world of Tony Bachoven, he does that. Uh, one of the things that I get a chance to do is uh, on Wednesday, Friday afternoon, 2 o'clock, uh, at the Celebration Church, right across the street, yep. uh, we're doing a preview, review, overlook at the National Sprint League. Uh, oh. Todd Quarren going to join us. Natalie Say there. I believe Danny uh, Lasoski. We've we got a bunch of drivers, uh, but we're going to just do a 90-minute segment on you know how it formed, oh, what cool. it is doing, how they're doing, where they're going. They've talked about adding a 360 series, and so we're going to have that. That is Friday afternoon. But a lot of the activity takes place at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. And you can find out more information on all of this at SprintCarHOF.com. They are in the middle of the Expand the Dream program, a facility expansion and endowment campaign. They have an online store, which I swear to God, I've talked about this before, when I get to the stage, if I get to the stage, if I can con somebody into marrying me, I'm registering at the Sprint Car Hall of Fame store. Yeah, for the wedding guests. What do you think of that? It's what do you think great. of that? Yeah, I'm registering. I didn't there. know where you were going with yeah, that, but yeah. that was good. There's just one little sticking point of this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Finding a girl that will give a <laughs> oh, second look, let alone yeah. But but that's a minor sticking point. I know where I'm registering. Hey, you just need to find a girl that loves sprint car racing as much as you do. That's right, exactly. and it'll work out perfect. Exactly. Maybe hey, she'll register too. He'll be there at too. the stage. What night? What time is he? She? He's going to be at the stage. Just come. Yeah. Meet him okay. There. Uh, we were busy laughing here. This is going to be a little behind-the-scene radio talk. Daryl, what did you just say? Daryl's our producer today. Oh, yeah, okay. So, oh. yeah, yeah, he just, Daryl, our producer. Daryl's sitting in, Craig is flying. Daryl's sitting in, and he says, well, apparently Kendra's not marrying you because she's big time, and you're not even showing up for her radio appearance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hey, imagine that. Yeah, that worked out well with everyone except for Kendra. Kendra, yeah, of course. Um, so uh, birthdays this week. We always do birthdays around the Hall of Fame. This is a, it, to me it was interesting when I started doing the list. Uh, yesterday was Donnie Schott's birthday. Okay. Mm-hmm. Today Jack Elam. Okay. And uh, tomorrow Linton Jeffrey, Parnelli Jones. Mm-hmm. Friday Ron Shaver and Brian Monteith. The Edge. Okay. What just struck me when I'm doing this is Donnie Schott's uses Jack Elam's J&J chassis. And Jack is a 2009 inductee into the Hall of I Fame. Know where you're going with this. And Ron Shaver racing engines. Ron is a 2012 inductee into the Hall of Fame. Oh, that's so, not where I thought you were going okay, with Okay, and so, and Shots will, I think Shots may eke into the Hall of Fame at some point in oh, his well, life. Listen, uh, if he know, doesn't. Final ballot somewhere along the yeah. way, last guy in or something like that. Now, where did you think I was going? Well, um, he actually uses Vortex Wings, which Linton Jeffrey owns. Really? Yeah. So there's another but one. But I don't think Linton's in the Hall of Fame, though, is he? I don't know. I don't uh, think I'm so. I'm not sure. He, he's, yeah, Didn't I'm not you sure. you say Linton Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah. Linton Jeffrey's uh-huh. birthday's tomorrow. So. Yeah. I didn't realize that. So yeah. it's a whole Donnie Schatz Palooza. So when, <laughs> when, 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 listen to me, when he wins on Saturday night, <laughs> no, if he wins on Saturday night, now I've got if, every sprint car driver if, hacked off at me. If he wins on Saturday night, the last night, yeah, then uh, everyone's going to be celebrating a post birthday party in Victory Lane at Knoxville. That's good, Lynn Jeffrey. Good catch on that. <laughs> yeah. Great catch on that. Hey, let's do this. Let's step away. We're going to hammer on Kendra a little bit, see if we can dial her up. We'll be back with more Wing Nation in just a moment. Hi, I'm Kyle Larson, and you're listening to Wing Nation on MotorRacingNetwork.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your wheels and tires from harmful elements and restore shine with ArmorAll Extreme Tire Shine or Wheel Cleaner on sale at O'Reilly Auto Parts for $3.99 each. Clean, shine, and protect your wheels and tires with ArmorAll Extreme Tire Shine or Wheel Cleaner at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. 
the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum in Knoxville, Iowa. Your destination for sprint car history. Check out the Salute to Champion Doug Wolfgang exhibit featuring five of Doug's sprint cars, all five of his winning Knoxville Nationals trophies, as well as helmets, uniforms, and other Wolfgang memorabilia. Also check out Damian Gardner's world's fastest sprint car that the Demon drove at 211 miles per hour at Bonneville. Open seven days a week all year in the sprint car capital of the world, Knoxville, Iowa. The National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum. This is Winged Nation. Here's Steve Post and Ashley Strimmy. Well, we are still trying to dial up Kendra Jacobs. She's fired. The Twitter machine has been, uh, <laughs> the Twitter machine is blowing up. Uh, Short Track Hustler says, uh, Kendra Jacobs, this little show called Winged Nation is missing you. <laughs> uh, how about uh, Mick Dirt Dog? Kendra has lost her voice. I'm sure it can be found at Dingus. I have a hunch. Her missing this call, there may be something dingus related in that. I could be wrong. You you probably don't get service inside is what the problem is. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So uh, I'll have to go investigate later this week to see if my phone works inside of dingus. How about that? Yeah, taking one for the team. Time for our Jeff Gordon's Kick It Driver of the Week. This is a great one. Okay. Uh, We talked about Sedalia, Missouri a little earlier. Uh, TJ Muffs is a driver. He is a 360 racer at Double X Speedway in California, Missouri, and also runs with the ASCS Warrior Region. He drives the, well, you'll know where this is going, number 35, Racing for a Reason Autism Awareness Car. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. Now, last week, TJ organized Autism Awareness Race at Double X. They did silent and live auctions. The list of things that they auctioned off was phenomenal. Just absolutely phenomenal. That's awesome. 100% of the proceeds to the local autism awareness chapter. So really, really cool there. This is, to me, where this gets really neat. I mean, and, and it's great what he does for autism. TJ's grandfather is Bill Utz. Bill is the National, is the National Sprint Car Hall of Famer. Bill dusted off his old car, old yeller, Aww. rolled it out, and paced the field. That's awesome. Green. So I love it. Really, really cool. So uh, our kicker driver of the week is TJ Muffs from Sedalia, Missouri. And, folks, uh, uh, to go along with this, um, you can send those suggestions to wingnation at AOL.com. That's where we got this one from. And, you know, Kendra and I, Ashley and I, we all love this sport, but there are 8,000 racetracks, and we miss things along the way. Absolutely. So when you see something, see someone that you believe is capable and, uh, and, 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 and deserving of our Jeff Gordon's Kick It Driver of the Week, like T.J. Mutz, uh, shoot us a note that's on impressive. it. Shoot us a note about it. You know, we if we don't know about it, that's a 100% guarantee we won't talk about yeah. it. 100% guarantee. Beyond that, I, I hope we're overrun with them sometimes so that we, we can, you know, can do some things and, and talk about them. But right there is what we have. So, Well, speaking of dusting yes. cars off, uh-uh, uh-uh. super excited for the Legends race. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, August 26th. Sorry, I just had Lincoln. to throw that August out. August 26th at Lincoln, the Fred Raymer promotion. I'm so excited. What did I see now? Um, they've had the driver some of the drivers out throwing hot laps around lately. Well, Keith Kaufman, Keith Kaufman jumped this week. in. Um, Al Hamilton, the 77, the maroon and gold, red and gold, 77. It's, yeah. it's a staple of central Pennsylvania racing. And to see that car back out on the track. To and know it was Keith Kaufman driving exactly. it. Exactly. It just, yeah. I am so, I'm so upset that I can't be there because, yeah. like, Mr. Excitement, Todd Schaefer, you know, all yeah. those guys that's that I your, haven't. That's your that's, deal, yeah. That's my, yeah. that's what I grew see, up on. A, see, you here's know? the thing that's funny is they bring, bring, Fred's having me come up, and I never oh, saw any of them. Yeah, I'm going up, yeah. I'm Why going do you up. get to do all the cool stuff? I'm going up. But uh, but I've never seen any of those guys race. No? I, not that I'm, well, I've probably seen Kaufman race along the way. Mm-hmm. I know I saw I know I know saw Lynn Paxton race because yeah. he won a World of Allah race at Five Mile Point Speedway. Uh, so, I mean, I've seen him, but right. I, uh, and, and I have huge respect, but I don't have that heartfelt appreciation right. like you do because they 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 were sure. you know i mean I, that wasn't i got every todd schaefer t-shirt really? there is i'm pretty sure oh, that's oh, awesome yeah. that is awesome so billy pouch know, and, and all of that's them the cool thing i think that's really the cool thing because we're going to have a hangover on sunday and monday <laughs> after Knoxville. guaranteed you know and fred has kind of created this little thing that's going to be a hangover helper <laughs> you know because <laughs> it's like okay 
Yeah, that's pretty good. It's kind of like a hamburger helper, yeah, but not. Only better. Yeah, yeah exactly. Hangover helper. <laughs> Maybe you can have some uh, hamburger helper to help yeah. that hangover. So Fred's created this on August 26th at, Lincoln, at the fabulous Lincoln Speedway, and uh, we're going to see what happens with it and have some fun with it. Uh, you know, just going back to something earlier in the show, the 358s are going to be racing that night, so I'll actually get a chance to see those guys there and gals go. race and really looking forward to it, watching Doug Hammaker race. Yeah. <laughs> Hammaker. Hammaker, exactly. <laughs> with and, hamburger helper. Yeah, exactly. With a hangover helper. And uh, so that's kind of the cool thing about it as we go forward we'll be in here next week just moping around because the knoxville nationals are over but we only have to wait about eight days till That's fred right. tees it up and gets things fired back up in the sport again with the classic race the central Pennsylvania yeah, legends race at lincoln so that is really really cool as i mentioned wing nation going to be very very busy hey want to tell you about this now listen to this one okay i'm excited now we are so excited about this because on our mav tv show on Saturday morning, mm-hmm. 9 30, 12 30, uh, 9 30 in the morning, 12 30 in the afternoon, we will chat with Bobby Allen. <gasps> Are yeah. you kidding me? Bobby <laughs> Allen, the 25th the anniversary, shark. exactly, the 25th anniversary of his Knoxville Nationals win. Oh, and I didn't my, know that. my video folks are saying they may have found some footage. Stop. I love it. We are going to talk, we're going to talk current day. Because what Bobby Ellis Allen is doing with his son and his grandson mm-hmm. is a beautiful story. I mean, just slugging and it out and how they're it. doing it. But then we're also going to talk about that day, that race, back in 1990, when he made the Marion County Fairgrounds explode by winning the Knoxville Nationals. So arguably one of the best underdog winners of the Knoxville Absolutely. National stories. And I just, uh, I know they've got footage because I actually saw a little bit of it. Oh, and the awesome. footage itself... And and I I know I, again I, I I feel weird because I'm kind of the newbie to all of this you know I mean I have huge respect for the guys that I never saw race mm-hmm. like Bob I mean I saw Bobby probably a time or two along the way you know have huge respect for him but getting to know and chat with Bobby over the last few years just as he travels up and down the road and does his things yeah. literally goosebumps watching oh, it's the so crowd cool. Their reaction story and is one that I think gets overshadowed yeah, a lot exactly so it is the 25th anniversary so it's this week Mav TV Bobby Allen. The 25th anniversary of that, Saturday morning on MAV at 9.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. So there you have that. Wing Nation weekend presented by Hefner Racing Products. That's coming up on Thursday. Here's my plan. Here's my plan, okay? (laughs) We're going all out. We're going to blow the roof off this thing because my plan, now they've got to cooperate with me at the go-kart race (laughs) tomorrow, okay? But I think they will. Okay, my plan is to have Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Kyle Larson, and Casey Kane on Wing Nation Weekend, presented by Hefner Racing Products. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, we're not uh, flopping turkeys here, Ashley. We're uh, bringing our A game today. That's pretty impressive. We're bringing our A game this week. Yeah. Exactly. Knoxville Nationals coverage Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 6 o'clock Knoxville time, 7 o'clock Eastern time. And speaking of not flopping turkeys, and speaking of ham makers, <laughs> the food at the Marion County Fairgrounds. Oh, my gosh. It is insane. I cannot wait to get out there. I will send every picture of food to you. <laughs> Perfect. I will tweet it to you, but I will Foodie. private message it. Perfect. I will I will text it to you just to drive you nuts so that you will yeah. never miss the Knoxville Especially National when you have a walking taco because uh, those taco, are amazing. Walking taco, the steak sandwich at the cattleman's so stand with the blood butter that they just put in the, or the corn they just put in the butter. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, and it's like, and it yeah, just, and you're, you're just looking you're, at a heart just, attack just dripping like, off of yeah, it. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. You're just, yeah. you're glaze over. Um, <laughs> the, the, the Hawaiian chicken stand. We well, that have, must be new. Yes, right beside the. I'm literally, I don't remember literally, literally from from ten feet from the stage is a pork tenderloin stand with the pork tenderloins of the size of a plate. <laughs> I mean, it is going to be insane. One thing and we don't have to worry about is post being hungry. I will not be hungry. Uh, by the way, not only do we have the Wing Nation shows, Jeff Wackerland, MRN.com, the written story as well of the Knoxville oh. Nationals. So, folks, if you can't join us in Knoxville, MRN.com is where you need to be. If you can, we look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks to T-Mac. Thanks to Doug Hamaker. And more important, You've been thank listening you. to the nation's premier winged sprint car radio program. Winged Nation. Tune in next Tuesday at noon for more talk from the dirt tracks. Winged Nation is also available on demand in the MRN.com Media Center or download from iTunes or Stitcher. Winged Nation is a production of the Motor Racing Network. All rights reserved.